This is Lindsay. This is our pet cat. She's adorable. I, I, I wonder what she does when we all leave the house. Does she go after our chocolate cake like Chloe? Or does she invite our neighbor's dogs to drink out of the toilet? I don't know about that. She's scared of everything. But look, but look at that face. Look at that face. Look at that face. Hey. Hey, Lindsay. Hey. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> hey, don't be camera shy, Lindsay. Don't be camera shy, Lindsay. Look at, look at. <laughs> That's pretty ass. What's going on all my YouTube buddies? It is me, Jacob, with another video. Today's review in preparation for The Secret Life of Pets 2 is the review of the original Illumination film, The Secret Life of Pets. And yes, I have this film on Blu-ray. Sue me. So if you're new to my YouTube channel, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, trailer reactions, vlog videos, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. If you enjoyed this video, consider clicking that subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. So The Secret Life of Pets was released by Illumination Studios, the same animation studio behind the Despicable Me movies, Minions, The Lorax, Sing, and the recent Grinch movie. So in The Secret Life of Pets, when their owners leave for the day, pets from the building gossip with their friends, satisfy their sweet twos, and throw outrageous parties. But when a pampered terrier named Max and his unruly new roommate named from the pound named Duke get lost in the urban jungle of New York City, they must put aside their differences to survive the epic journey back home. And this movie has an all-star voice cast including Louis C.K., Eric Stone Street, Kevin Hart, Jenny Slate, Lake Bell, Dana Carvey, Steve Coogan, and Albert Brooks. So Illumination as a studio overall has been very hit and miss for me. Uh, there are a film from Illumination that I do enjoy. I do like the first Despicable Me film. I enjoyed Sing. I liked The Grinch. But then other movies from them showcase the worst of modern Hollywood animation. I thought their adaptation of the Lorax was a huge disgrace to Dr. Seuss's original source material. And Minions is one of the worst animated movies I have ever seen. All it did was pander to the lowest common denominator, and there's very little quality in that film. And all it does, I feel like, is numb brain cells. It is that stupid of a film. And so this was their first release after Minion, so I'm like, I don't trust Illumination anymore. But even then, Illumination does not make the best animated movies of all time. They make fun movies. They're not great. But there's just enough in them to keep you entertained for an hour and a half. And so Secret Life of Pets is arguably one of their most iconic films. So going into Secret Life of Pets and making all the money it did, I'm like, I don't know. It's not going to, it's not going to, it's not going to be that good. Uh, but coming into the film when I first saw it, uh, I actually did see it in theaters in 2016. I surprisingly liked it. I thought it was a solid movie. It was fun. Now, granted, it is not a great film. I can honestly see why people don't like this film. The storyline is essentially Toy Story with pets. And if you're heavily against Illumination and think they're the worst thing in American animation... Yeah, you're going to hate Secret Life of Pets. You're going to say all it is is a ripoff of Toy Story with pets. I never viewed Secret Life of Pets as a ripoff of Toy Story. It does borrow plot elements from Toy Story, but it never did it in such a way where it annoyed me or I see it as plagiarism. Actually, I welcome that they use Toy Story as an influence to model their film. 
And this isn't the only time that's happened. I mean, Disney took elements of Toy Story and used it uh, in the world building of Wreck-It Ralph. And Wreck-It Ralph is a much beloved film. I really like Wreck-It Ralph. So if Disney can borrow from Toy Story, then why not Illumination? And Secret Life of Pets, I mean, I like the premise of what do the pets do when we leave. Uh, there's a lot of fun. There's a lot of funny potential with that premise, and I think for the most part, it's used very well. I like seeing all these pets, dogs and cats, and you got birds and hamsters, and you see what they do when the owners are out. I like the cat Chloe that's raiding the ice box, and you got the dogs chugging out of the toilet as immature as that sounds for a dog that's pretty funny and there's even an animated adventure in there that it's more like the incredible journey or homeward bound compared to toy story if you hadn't seen homeward bound the incredible journey it's a very underrated disney film that i grew up with that came out during the 90s and it's a fun little animated adventure, and there's a little bit of Homeward Bound vibes, or maybe more Homeward Bound 2, because that movie was set in San Francisco. Secret Life of Pets is set in New York City, so it has the big city vibe compared to the first one where they're lost in the wild. Uh, but it's fun to watch, and the movie is consistently very funny, considering Illuminations prone to their juvenile poop humor. Maybe not as big as DreamWorks, but there's still a lot in some of their films. Like Minions was chocked full with a lot of them that really annoyed me. I was surprised. Secret Life of Pets is very funny throughout. There's a lot of jokes in this film that I think a lot of adults that are forced to watch the film with their kids, I think, will get a lot out of. There's this one scene involving a viper. It's the physical comedy with a viper. Every time I watch it, it really shocks me of how insanely funny it is. Eat a flat deck! There's another scene in a sausage factory that reminds me a little bit of the pink elephant scene in Dumbo, but much more sadistic and wrong on so many levels, but it's so crazy how much they were able to get away with it. I also, also kind of like, it's like the dry berry scene in The Good Dinosaur. A mix of those two scenes roll into one. So there's a lot of jokes in this film that I think are as funny for adults as they are kids. And I do like a lot of the characters of this film, particularly the supporting characters. I like Gidget, the white little furball that has the hots for Max. I like Chloe, the fat cat who likes to raid the icebox. Uh, I also really like, what's the name of the bird? Uh, I'm talking about the CP, uh, I think I'm talking about Tiberius. Tiberius, thank you. Uh, the character voiced by Albert Brooks, Marlin from Finding Nemo. Tiberius, the, you know, the bird with the predator-like tendencies and any minute he wants to eat his newfound companions, but he made a promise. He's like, oh, no, uh, I'm hungry. No, no, no. Pops is a fun character. The old paralyzed dog. It's kind of like a drill sergeant. My favorite character, though, is Snowball, the rabbit voiced by Kevin Hart. He's very psychotic, and he hates humans with a vengeance, and he's the leader of this stray pet cult that wants to destroy the human race it is so outlandish and insane that it's honestly the whole movie is worth watching just for snowball alone snowball is crazy <laughs> and also if you're a pet owner to see your life of pets it's kind of a love letter uh to owning a pet and how just lovable it is just to own a pet and everything like that i mean kind of like toy story how you feel like you're something the way you handle your toys and stuff. I guess it's kind of the same thing with pets. But like I said, this movie is nowhere close to the greatness that Toy Story was. It's not even, I, I wouldn't even put it on the same level as Pixar. For one, uh, they set up some emotional story beats in this film, particularly related to the character Duke, the new dog. And. While I like the effort Illumination did, tried to do with it, uh, my main issue 
with that is as soon as they bring up what happens, it's not brought up again. And I felt like it undercut some of the emotional beats that could have elevated Secret Life of Pets to a Pixar quality film, but instead spent its budget on, you know, joke, 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 just to entertain the kids. And I thought that was a little frustrating. I also don't really care for Max and Duke that much. They're easily my least favorite characters of the film. They're voiced fine. But my main issue is that they're essentially Woody and Buzz, but dogs. And of all the parts of the movie that had the Toy Story template in there, the fact that your main characters are essentially Woody and Buzz, but dogs, they don't really do anything to change that. I thought was very annoying. Uh, I kind of wish, I wish they did a little, maybe made them similar, but not exact versions of what Woody and Buzz were in Toy Story. I mean, Max is kind of like the cocky, arrogant dog who's superior and everything, and Duke is a little more uh, naive and innocent and j j just wants to get the attention, and he doesn't know a a everything yet, but he's learning along the way. And I wish the Illumination did a little more than just made them the exact copies of Woody and Buzz, but dogs. That was probably the most annoying part of the film. Obviously, what got me through Secret Life of Pets, though, was how funny it was, how entertaining it was. And I enjoy all the supporting characters in Secret Life of Pets over the main characters, which is really weird, but... I feel like uh, most of the Illumination films are like that, except Gru and Despicable Me. Gru is definitely a more entertaining character than the Minions. But I do enjoy Secret Life of Pets. It's one of the better Illumination films. And at the end of the day, I'm going to give it 3.5 out of 5 stars, and on the 100 point scale, I'm going to rate The Secret Life of Pets a very solid 69 out of 100. Before I close out my video, I have three comment shoutouts I would like to share uh, from previous videos. Uh, the three comments I'll be sharing on this video all come from the same YouTuber. We're easily the most supportive YouTuber on my channel so far, and that is Anthony A. Perez. If you have not subscribed to this channel, definitely do so if you haven't already. Like me, Anthony reviews movies. He also does a lot of vlog videos. He's a huge Star Wars fan, so he has a lot of Star Wars videos. I cannot recommend this channel enough. Definitely subscribe. He's all around a nice guy. Definitely subscribe to this channel if you love movies or Star Wars. Uh, the first comment I'd like to share comes by review of the Martin Scorsese flick Boxcar Bertha. And Anthony commented, loving the variety of reviews, man. Yeah, I definitely appreciate that when I started my YouTube channel. That was the whole point, was to show my huge variety of movies that I do really love. I love a lot of animated films. I like action films, superhero films. I do like some comedies. I like westerns. I like some horror films that I'm getting into. Sci-fi is awesome. I love fantasy films. Musicals are a go-to for me. Uh, there's a lot of great genres that are out there. And I, wa I want to share the variety of classic films, current favorites, and everything in between. Next comment, also from Anthony, uh, comes from my review of John Wick Chapter 2. And he writes, Great review, man. Such a great action film. Yes, it was a great action film. And one of the things I love about the John Wick trilogy is in each film they up the ante on how crazy the action gets and even though I think I'm not as invested in the story as each sequel goes on the action gets better and better and better and John Wick Chapter 2 is no exception I was blown away when we got to see that little pencil trick <laughs> that he does uh, that was awesome. And the scene in the art gallery was crazy too. That Hall of Mirrors type thing. And then the last comment comes from my review of season one of Stranger Things. Also from Anthony A. Perez. And he writes, This show instantly became a favorite after the first season. Great review. Not only was the show a favorite of mine after finishing season one. 
I knew the show would be a favorite of mine after watching the first episode. Stranger Things might be one of the best TV shows I've ever seen, and pretty soon I'll be tackling season two of Stranger Things. Uh, I, I should have a review posted of that sometime in the month of June. I can't wait to dive into it, as I plan on tackling it before the July premiere of season three. That wraps up my comment shoutouts. If you like your comments to be seen in upcoming videos, all you gotta do is share your thoughts in the comments down below. And if they are respectful, I will pick them out and share them in upcoming comment shoutouts in future videos. It's as simple as that. So that wraps up my review of The Secret Life of Pets. A pretty good surprise from the studio that I hadn't liked for a while, considering Minions. I still have a thing against them for Minions, but for the most part, they do have some solid animated films that are entertaining to watch. And I do like the animation style in their films as well. They're not as, I guess, realistic as I guess, some of Pixar's films. But the cartoonish style does make them distinct compared to some of the other animation studios. And I do like their style for the most part. If you have seen The Secret Life of Pets, please please share your thoughts down below. Did you like the film? Did you hate the film? Or were you mixed in between? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the little notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, trailer reactions, vlog videos, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. I am excited about Secret Life of Pets 2. I don't know if I'll see it opening weekend, but I do plan on catching the film in theaters. Secret Life of Pets, I was rooting for a sequel to that film, honestly, because I like this film so much. But I don't know. I might be the only person to think that. I know there's a lot of people that aren't excited for Secret Life of Pets 2, but I'm okay. I'd rather see more movies with the pets than with the stinking minions. Anyway, I hope y'all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye! Yeah, who can resist this cute little thing? Thinking of that, huh? <coughs>